My husband, M35, thinks I, F32, baby trapped him. Please help. My husband, M35, and I, F32, have been married for seven years. He lived next door, and we just clicked. It was like a fairy tale. One thing I have always thought made our marriage so strong was our friendship with each other, and our trust in one another, although now my husband seems to think otherwise. Recently, my husband found out that his friend, Jeff, M34, has been baby trapped. Basically, Jeff's wife, F32, stopped taking the pill and fell pregnant a few months into their relationship, and only came clean after the wedding. Jeff came from a very conservative family, which his wife knew, and so he felt obligated to marry her after the pregnancy. Unfortunately, he also now feels obligated to stay regardless of the clearly messed up dynamic because he feels that he has made a vow and will stick by his wife and child. My husband, for some reason, has been really rattled by this. I am currently four months pregnant with our first, and my husband asked me yesterday if I was trying to baby trap him. I first laughed because I honestly thought it was a joke. He was dead serious and doubled down, so I told him that we have already been married for seven years and a baby was not going to trap him any more than he already is. My husband did not like that answer and said that there was no time limit on baby trapping, and that my intentions were clearly not pure given how I was acting as if his concerns were a joke. He said he had trusted me in the past, but me laughing in his face gave him no reason to trust me now. I did not really know what he wanted or how I was meant to respond, and I said we should talk about this in the morning. Today I woke up and my husband was gone, but I did have a nasty text from his brother, M28, saying that I had forced my husband into this pregnancy, despite it having been a joint decision. My husband is missing in action, and not responding to calls or texts, and now I am wondering how on earth to go forward. Any advice is appreciated. Update. I wanted to quickly update everyone who was kind enough to give me some advice. I didn't respond to anyone because my post was locked quite quickly, but I have read every single comment and message. I am very grateful. I realized while I was reading the comments that everyone was right, I wasn't angry enough. My husband had insulted me in our marriage in a very hurtful way, and it just didn't really register for a while. I was so confused and upset that it didn't occur to me to be angry, but I think everything just needed to sink in. In the meantime, I called my best friend, F31, who has been such a rock in my life. She came over with some chocolate, and was furious when she heard. She called her husband, M34, to the house after I had gotten everything out of my system. He is a family lawyer, and he said that he would happily represent me if I wanted to go through with a divorce. This man is a saint, and will draw up divorce papers on Monday. My mother-in-law, F66, showed up with my husband in the car not long after my best friend's husband arrived, and she practically dragged him to the door. My mother-in-law said that he had showed up at theirs late last night saying that he was certain that I was using the baby to trap him. Fortunately my mother-in-law is a smart woman and absolutely tore him a new one before dragging him to the house today to apologize. My worm of a husband did not look me in the eye the entire time, but said that he was scared about becoming a dad and projected his fears onto me. He said he wasn't sure if he was ready for that kind of commitment, but he will step up, as if he is some kind of hero, I roll. I called him a coward and told him that he should stay with his parents until I am ready to talk to him. I didn't want to say anything about the divorce papers because I didn't know what his reaction would be, but he will find out soon enough. I also showed my mother-in-law the text from my brother-in-law and her face was like a storm cloud. I don't know what will happen there, but I am sure it will be bad. For now, I am exhausted and just want to curl up and cry. My best friend has said she'll spend the night with me and we can watch silly movies. I have also made an appointment with a therapist for next week, but for now, I just need to rest. I am exhausted and devastated that my marriage has come crumbling down. Sorry for the sad ending everyone.